Okay, I'm off to LTO to get my driving license. And I'm on one of these uh, bicycle trikes. And this guy does this all day for five pesos each. And he has my full respect because it's a hard job and he doesn't get a lot of reward for it. I'm uh, quite sure that you couldn't do it. I certainly couldn't do it. I'd be, uh, I think my heart would be coming through my chest. <clears throat> it must be very fit. Okay, I'm at LTO. Uh, I've come today to get my driving license. Um, I came a month ago uh, to get my um, what we call a provisional license. It's like a, a learner's um, license here. LTO is the equivalent of the DSA in uh, the UK. So basically, you come, you get your provisional license. You have to wait a month, unfortunately, before you can come in take your written test and uh, then your driving test now if you come from outside the UK like America uh, and other countries where the rule of thumb is you get 30 days free visa if that's the case then you should automatically get 90 days uh, where you can drive on your uh, country of origin license so if you've got a, a full license back in your country, um, you should be able to drive for 90 days um, without having to get a license, uh, a Filipino license here. Now, what you need before you can apply for a license, sorry about that, is your ACR card or ACRI card. You need that and obviously you need your passport and you need your home address where you're living in the Philippines uh, once you've got that you go in you have to have a medical which costs you I think around 300 pesos and for your actual um, learner's permit that is about another 300 325 pesos um, once you've got that, like I say, unfortunately you have to wait a month. Now my month is up and I'm going in to uh, take the written exam and hopefully today I'll get my license. So fingers crossed because I've done uh, absolutely no revision. Uh, so we'll see how, how it goes. So see you soon. Bye for now. Well I didn't know what to expect when I went in. But uh, basically you get uh, a written exam and it's 40 multiple choice questions and you have to get 30 right out of 40 to be able to proceed to your driving test. Um, it's actually cost me uh, 400 pesos to hire a car and then hire a motorbike which I think is pretty incredible but there you go. So uh, anyway, I passed and I've got my license. Um, if you fail the written test, then unfortunately you have to wait a whole month before you can uh, redo it. So if you want the license, don't fail. So I'm off to the uh, motorbike shop now to buy my motorbike and uh, try and guess which one I'm going to get seen the other videos so uh, I'll do a video of me going to uh, pick the bike up so we'll see you soon bye for now